I know exactly what's your first reaction going to be. Didn't we hear this gospel yesterday? We did, for those of you who were very attentive. But there's an addition to one verse in today's gospel. Yesterday we heard Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 to 5. And today we have the addition of verse 10 to go in line with what we're celebrating, the memorial of the guardian angels. Now the last line is important in today's gospel. A continuation from where we left off yesterday. The invitation to each one of us to be childlike. Putting on virtues and qualities of honesty, simplicity, humility. And today's gospel is an invitation to us to protect those who are honest, those who are simple, those who are humble. To ensure that we bring no harm upon them, whether they are adults or whether they are little ones. And there is the warning that Jesus gives us. Never despise any of these little ones. Because their angels in heaven are continually watching over them. How fortunate we are, my dear brothers and sisters, to get this reassurance from the Lord. That every one of us has this guardian angel. Not just watching over us, but protecting us from all harm. From guiding us along the right path and leading us to Jesus our Savior. Though they are invisible, I must say their presence is all this felt. And in and through these angels we must feel the presence of the Lord in our lives. Now while on the one hand we can think of these guardian angels as those who are invisible, we must also remember that hundreds of guardian angels who are visible, who've come into our lives from the moment of conception right to this present day, always being there for us, always supporting us, always protecting us from all harm, always guiding us, always being compassionate and kind towards us. Being there whenever we require them, supporting us, encouraging us along the way. We shouldn't forget our brothers and sisters who are living, who are in our midst, who are always there for us, who come for our every need. We pray today and thank God for these guardian angels as well. People perhaps we take for granted. People so often we feel it's their job, it's their responsibility, it's their duty. And yet we know how so many of them will go out of their way to be at our service and to be there for us. On this beautiful memorial of the guardian angels, first of all, let's thank the Lord for giving each one of us an angel to protect us, one from above, as well as one who walks alone with us here on this earth, always there to support us. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.